Hi everyone! I'm really excited about today's video because you get to see the finished house tour. If you've been watching any of my videos recently, you will know that I've been working on this house for around about the last six months. If you're new to the channel, I've been working on this house for the last six months. I've done as much as I can on a budget. I've done pretty much everything in here myself apart from getting in an electrician and plumber slash gas engineer to do a few little bits so I've done about 95% of the work all by myself. This property belongs to my mum, it's been one of her buy to lets for 15 years and the initial plan was because I couldn't find a property to buy I was going to buy this offer. There was then a change of plan once I moved in, I didn't want to live here so it was a case of getting the house up to a certain standard to get it on the market and get it sold so everything that's been done in here has just been done quite neutral it's literally just been about getting it to a standard good enough to sell it so had I been doing this for me living here it would have been done completely differently it looks so much better than it did before the house has already been put on the market and actually sold. You want to find out how much profit my mum made on the top of what she would have sold it to me for. Watch till the end of the video and I'll go through all of that with you then. So without further ado, let's get into the tour. Starting off in the living room, this is what you see as you walk through the door. It's not the biggest room by any stretch of the imagination. I actually had to get rid of quite a bit of furniture and have a jiggle around with things. So it is a bit of a squeeze, it's very cosy, but I've just tried to make as much of the space as possible. So this was kept white, we managed to save the flooring. Did the fire mantle just to add a little bit of something to it. this room it is nice it's just a shame really you can't really put anything here because you've got the front door walking straight through so I just kept the same colour scheme that I had in the old living room, it saved me having to buy anything new so everything's just nice and neutral and then you go through to the inner hallway Well the walls were an absolute nightmare but this looks so much better now so this has had really nice thick new carpet down and it just looks so much better looking up the stairs and then through to the kitchen which is a massive improvement on what it was like before so there wasn't a huge spend on this it was a case of wrapping the cupboards painting the tiles, new worktops new oven and hob and we managed to save the floor didn't manage to do as much with the cellar as I would have liked had I been staying here I would have completely stripped all of these back and made a little bit more of something with this space here but I did put some lino down just to make it a little bit easier to keep clean and the cellar is just used for storage up the stairs Here's the top of the landing which looks so nice now compared to how it did. So 
thought it's a nice sunny day and my bedroom's looking nice and bright. Nothing was done in here, just a case of painting the walls because this was really thick paper that was up and going off some of the other walls in the house it would have been a case of having to completely replaster which just wasn't worth doing. But it's nice and neutral for someone to come in and do what they want with it as and when they've got the time or the funds. Favourite bit is the bathroom. The shower is brilliant, I would definitely get another one of those. The water pressure in here isn't great, but that shower is brilliant, so I'm really happy with that. It does feel a little bit weird having a shower directly in front of the window and it does get very wet on there whilst you're having the shower, but it just means that we need to wipe it down each time we use it. But this is by far my favourite bit that I've done. It's so nice in here, I absolutely love it. So in the second bedroom, not done much in here at all. It was given a coat of white paint. Lissy has done a really good job of keeping it tidy in here, which is brilliant. So we'd actually had her desk in here, which we moved out just so that the room looks a little bit bigger. And it was just a case of making sure that there was some nice things out on display. So we didn't put all of the shelves back up because it's obviously going to make a mess of the walls. So it's less to do, obviously, when we move. In this cupboard, she's just got her desk equipment, anything that she needs for school. And this cupboard has been fully utilised as a wardrobe, so there's lots of stuff stored in there. It's a nice blank canvas for someone to come in and make their own, but it's perfectly livable for someone in the meantime. So guys, I'm sure you'll agree the improvement is amazing. It has been done on a budget. If it had been a case of me staying here, I would have done things completely differently and done a little bit extra. The way that the property market is at the minute, there's not a lot on the market. There's lots of people wanting to buy, which ultimately pushes up property prices. I have worked in property pretty much my entire adult life. I've been an estate agent, so I know how to value houses. I've been a developer, I've been a property sourcer, so I know a lot of how things work and I knew what should be spent and what shouldn't be spent on this particular property because a lot of people are under the impression that if you spend 20,000 on a house, it's worth 20,000 more and that is not the case. Each property has a ceiling price and I knew what the ceiling price was for this one. If we'd have gone all out, putting a brand new kitchen in, doing full replastering works, new carpet, there wouldn't have been any profit in this at all. When the estate agent came to value, I'd actually said that I wanted us to try it at £5,000 more. I did feel that he was being a little bit conservative with the pricing mainly due to the fact of I felt that the last house that I sold, I sold it for less than what I could have got for it. So we decided to try it 5,000 more than what he'd valued it at. The very first day that it was put on the market, 
the, the agents were inundated with viewing requests. So rather than literally accommodating every single person that wanted to view, we decided to do viewings over the course of two days. I think there were nine viewings in total and out of those nine viewings there were actually seven offers four of which were asking price offers so knowing that that was the absolute top whack really that this property was going to be worth um, even if it literally had everything brand new in it that was the most that this house would be worth it was the most that it would value up at with a mortgage lender so we didn't try to push and get any more than that we accepted an offer from someone who had a really good deposit and a secure work situation obviously with the way things are at the minute lenders being really really careful and um, the less likely to accept someone with a lower deposit so to save us hassle in the long run it just made sense to go with the person that had the larger deposit who seemed like less of a risk so fingers crossed my mum isn't going to have the same drawn out situation that i had when i was selling my last house if you watched any of my moving vlogs you'll know how much of a nightmare i had with that so i really hope that we don't have that with this house it's been done totally on a budget if we'd have had other people in doing the work basically it would have been wasted um my mum ended up getting about eight and a half thousand pound more than if i'd have bought it off her with only spending around about £1,500 on top of what she'd already spent at that point. This is going in my mum's pension pot, so I'm really glad that we've been able to increase the value of the house for her. Um, she's really happy with how it's all turned out. I hope you've enjoyed this renovation series. On Sunday, I'll be running a live chat Q&A, which I hope you can join in with. That's at 7 o'clock. And on that live chat, I will be making a very special announcement something that I'm really excited to share with you. I'm sure you might be able to guess what that might be, especially if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So I hope you can make it over to that and I will hopefully see you then.